Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be unboxing the HG After Colony Leo. Finally, finally, we're getting a good, nice, solid kit of the Leo. There was many years ago and a kit of the Leo, not very easy to find and not very great from what I've heard. I've never built it, but I can't imagine that it would be very good. But now we're getting one that is apparently, by all accounts, a very good kit, at least from what I've seen of it so far. Looks very cool. A very simple, a very, very thin box with this. You're not really going to be a whole lot in here, but that means it's got a very low price, which is very cool. It's a very, it's a simple mobile suit. It's a grunt. It has a machine gun. It has a shield. It's got a couple of beam sabers, and that's pretty much it. And if you're a fan of Gundam Wing, then you've probably been dying for a, a kit of this for a long time. Even if you're not a fan of Gundam Wing, uh, it's just a really cool, simple grunt design, very similar to the Greys, I suppose, in the fact that it's basically a kind of reimagining of a Zaku in ways. But anyway, the fact that this is a mass-produced mobile suit is definitely emphasized here on the boxer, as you can see the mass of Leos here in the back, and just the fact that it's so cheap uh, and simple, it's the kind of thing that it seems like it would be a lot of fun to just build a whole bunch of these if you really wanted to do some dioramas with a team of them, three, four, five, ten of them lined up in some sort of diorama there with your real grade tall geese or whatever you want to do with that. There's a lot of fun that can be had. Another thing worth pointing out here on the top is the Gumpla Evolution Project, so that's what Bandai is using to denote the kits that are kind of like especially groundbreaking in some way and I think the kind of the main point of this kit we'll see once we start taking a look at the runners why Bandai put this into their Gumpla Evolution project lines so that's pretty cool otherwise yeah just some really cool box art here I really like the look of the box art for this kit it's just got that dark tone with dirty grunts all fighting there it looks really cool here on the side of the box we can see this is number 211 in the HG line that's HGUC but HGUC also includes HG uh, after colony and then a few other lines in there as well. Then we can see here just a look at the 105 millimeter rifle, the shield, the beam sabers, what the kit's gonna look like there front and back when it's all painted up. A little bit of information there. The evolution point says that it's a fine build, maintains both an easy assembly and high quality. So yeah, the engineering on this kit is going to be very cool. I'm really looking forward to that. As you can see just here's one example of that, just the knee joint that they're showing off there and just the posability, the articulation of that. It says all six colors of the MS can be recreated with the colored parts. So it's just gonna be a really solid kit, especially considering the price. Here it also says that the parts for each of the sections are on separate runners. So the runners are actually segregated into different areas uh, for the different parts of the kit. And that's something that has kind of been done before, but they haven't really made, particularly made a point of that. It just sort of seems like that's just kind of how it worked out. It wasn't really done with too much intention, I think. Here on the top of the box, just a little bit more information about that. Another nice little image there. And then the list price of 1,000 yen. So again, very cheap. Open up the box and you'll see why. Here we have our beam saber runner, one runner of green parts there. Uh, one looks like four color runner there and then one more brown runner and that's pretty much it aside from a few polycaps in there as well. Uh, and then let's check out our manual here, just kind of standard HG manual with a really nice big full painted reference image there of the of painted, uh, a reference image of the painted kit. And just some stats here, very simple. The total height is 16.2 meters, so it is going to be a little bit smaller. The Gundam, the RX-782 Gundam is around 18 meters, so it's going to be a little bit smaller than kind of your standard Gundam, but it is just, again, a very simple grunt, so it's not too surprising. Here on the back, we've got a whole bunch of information. This is all in Japanese and in English there as well, talking about the beam saber, the mobile suit itself, the shield, and the 105 millimeter rifle. Very cool weapon. Another image of the weapons there, another image like from the box art here, some more information about the mobile suit there. Color guide down here at the bottom with all of that in Japanese and English. Opening it up in here and you'll see there, it's showing which section of the runner is for which part of the kit. So it's kind of cool how they've done that. It's very interesting indeed. It's not really, I mean, it doesn't really help with anything really in particular. It's just kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, and then there, there's the parts list. You can see everything on there. It's nice that the parts list is in color too. Again, it doesn't really matter at all for the, for the build, but it just makes for a, a kind of nicer thing, I guess, to see here. So we're starting off the build here, it looks like, with the legs and the feet. So we're building the lower legs here first, and then the upper legs, and then moving on to the upper legs, upper legs, the waist, building it look kind of like from the ground up, I guess, or actually. Yeah, because then we're moving on to the torso, and then the arms, arms, and then the head, very simple there. 
the mobile suit is done, and then onto the weapons, the rifle, the rifle, the shield, and then just equipping everything on there. Okay, and then getting into the runners, this kit has no stickers included with it, which is not really too surprising, considering the Leo doesn't necessarily have a lot of really small color apps or anything. Uh, but let's just move on right into the polycaps, which are also a little bit surprising too, as this is all we have for the polycaps, just PC7 here for a few ball joint polycaps, and that is it, so that's pretty interesting indeed. SB6 here we have as well for our beam saber effect parts. This is again the kind of smaller 144 scale beam saber effect parts uh, instead of the kind of more longer ones that are often included. Here we've got runner A, which as you can see is all of the green parts for the kit as that's the main color of the entire mobile suit. Now one thing that I do also want to pay attention to is where we can see where these runners might be modified for different versions, whether it's going to be like the commander type with the shoulder cannons or the flight backpack or the space type with the backpack for that. And it looks like, at least for the A runner here, that this probably isn't going to be uh, undergoing too much in the way of any modification to it. So I guess anything other that we might get in new parts won't won't be anything added or anything changed to the A runner from what I can tell here. The B runner as well is also very interestingly segmented, but that's just kind of what we saw to the point of where each section is for like a different part of the kit. So parts for one leg, one leg, one arm, one arm, and then a couple more parts that I think probably for in the torso there. So that's pretty much it. This is a very interesting kind of like light brown color. It's a nice color, mostly kind of joint parts, hands here and parts for the feet. And then we have the C runner here. Now this is a four color runner with some black there on the side for a couple parts for the mobile suit, but then mostly just parts for the body of the rifle, a couple of red parts there for the head, a clear yellow part there for the kind of uh, visor camera on the head, and then some gray in there for a few more parts like uh, thruster details, parts for around the feet, inside the back of the shield, parts there in the chest, and then the ammo magazine and kind of part there, secondary handle for the machine gun. But this runner as well, while it is segmented to make way for the different colors, it doesn't really look like there's possibly going to be anything extra added onto it. So at least what it looks like to me at this point is if and when we get different variations of this kit in the future, uh, those will be entirely new runners, not anything added or subtracted onto the runners that we currently have included with this kit. So yeah, that's going to do it for the unboxing. Very simple, not a whole lot in there, but it looks like it's going to be a very interesting kit to build for sure, at least in terms of the build process. And that's always fun. When you when you build a lot of kits, you know, you can pretty much just go, it's kind of just paint by numbers. You get how things go together and it's not really surprising. So when you're building something that's new and different and the whole, the whole process of it uh, has a little bit of a twist onto it, that's nice, it's refreshing. So I think this will be a fun kit. While it is very simple, uh, it should be, it should make for a really just nice, fun high grade to just play around with and just kind of try things with. So. I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you do have any other further questions or comments, leave those down below. And as always, a big thank you to USA Gundam Store for sponsoring this review. Guys, do check out the link to USA Gundam Store down below. Use that coupon code there, ZakuRelease10, to save 10%. Saving 10% on a $10 kit like this isn't going to be too much, but of course you can use that for everything and anything there on their site. So use that. And as always, guys, thank you again for watching. Do hope you're having a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey! Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam Store. Use that coupon code ZAKUARILIUS10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.